Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started video for Online Dating Genie. This video is going to cover the quickest way to get up and going with Online Dating Genie. It's by no means comprehensive, but this is a good place to start. We're just going to quickly go through getting the program set up and running. Before you do anything, the first time that you run the program, I want you to go to File and Settings and open up the Account tab here. This is going to be open by default, and this is where you enter in your user information for each of the various sites. So go through one by one and type in your account number and your password. Once you've entered in your information, go ahead and click the test login for the site button here, and this is going to go ahead and verify that the information you entered is indeed correct. And there we go, we've entered good information here. So go ahead and do this for all of the other sites as well. This is very important so that you can uh, send messages and search the sites that you would like. In human simulation, there's going to be another video that talks about what each of these functions do, but for the sake of the quick getting started video, let's just take a look at what the settings should be. Let's go ahead and make sure that random wait times between messages and winks is turned on by enabling the checkbox and set the settings to 1 in 5 minutes and 2 to 6 minutes for the first group box and then go ahead and on fail enable that option and set this to 6 retries at 240 minutes and go ahead and retry the login. This is the uh, best default settings for, uh, for this program. Um, we're going to see that we're logged on to each of the sites here, which is perfect. That means that everything is working. And now let's go ahead and perform a search. We're going to confirm that I'm a man looking for a woman. And let's tell Online Dating Genie we're looking for women between 18 and 25 that are located within 15 miles. Go ahead and enter a zip code here. And then go ahead and uh, select which sites you'd like to perform the search on. And go ahead and hit search. After a few seconds, the program will begin to return results. We're going to go ahead and stop the search right now because we really just need a few to show you how the program works. The genie is confirming that the task has been stopped. Thank you. And let's go ahead and pick a couple profiles to send messages and winks to. And you can do this by just selecting the profiles that you're interested in and clicking uh, anywhere in the blue area for that profile. That will highlight them. You can also select uh, these checkboxes here. And you want to go ahead and save out the selected. Now let's go ahead and give this search a unique name. You can use the default, but we're actually going to type in tutorial video so that I know that this search was the one that was done for the tutorial video and click OK. The search has been saved. Now if we come up here to the list of searches and select that from the list at the end, there it is with the users that we've saved out. And let's select this user here and tell the software we want to wink her. So select mark for wink and we can see that this user has been marked and let's select these two users for messaging. So mark for message. So now these two users here have been marked for message which means they're going to receive an email while this person here is going to receive a wink. But before we can send messages to any of these people we need to write a basic message template. This can be done within the template and headline editor which can be accessed by clicking this button here. And let's go ahead and either select a new template, but in this case, we're going to create a new template just so that you can write your own. And again, let's uh, use tutorial video for the sake of uh, naming this. Your own template will be a lot more descriptive. So this is the part where we write a message that is going to be sent to each and every person that's been selected for messaging. Hello. And let's go ahead and insert the person's username as a placeholder variable by selecting it from the placeholder variable list and simply inserting it after the word hello. So now this variable here is going to get replaced by the person's username so this message is already being customized. But let's make this a little bit more interesting of a message here for the person that's going to be reading it. I noticed you were from... Okay. I noticed you were from, and let's go ahead and put the user's city in here. So we select it from the pull down and insert it. Okay, I noticed you were from blank city and that you were a. Let's go ahead and insert the person's ethnicity here. Okay, so this could be anything like uh, Latina, Asian, black with and let's talk about her eyes and hair which is my favorite okay and let's go ahead and put the person's eye color right before eyes 
and we'll do that by selecting it from the list and inserting it here okay and let's do the same thing with hair let's put their hair color here before hair let's also talk about their body type as well. All right, so here we've written a message template that is going to be highly customized for each of the people that are receiving the message. You can see that all of these variable placeholders here are all going to be replaced at runtime with bits and pieces that have been taken off of each of their profiles. So this message is going to be very customized for the person receiving it. So every message is definitely going to be very different. But just to keep it even more different, let's talk about how you can use spinning text in order to send a message that's even more unique. This word hello, for instance, we can use several words that mean hello. So to do that, let's go ahead and get rid of the word hello for now and hit the spin text editor so that we can enter in some synonyms for that word that'll get picked randomly each message that is sent. So let's use hello again and let's use another word like hi, howdy, what's up? All right, and we'll go ahead and insert this into the template. So now what's going to happen is one of these words are going to be randomly picked, followed by the person's username, and then the message is going to continue to talk specifics about the person's city, their ethnicity, their hair and eye color, and also their body type. So you can see in just a few minutes here, we've written a uh, very detailed message. Let's go ahead and close this off by saying, Thank you for reading. Write back to me soon. All right, and let's go ahead and save the template out. And before we go sending this message out to a whole bunch of people, let's take a look at what this message looks like if it's actually going to get to send to one person, just to confirm that everything is working as we thought. We're going to insert the template to the current message, and you're going to see that it's been inserted here. Verify that use random templates and prioritize using conditional templates is turned off so that the message that's here within uh, this editor is going to be the one sent. Now, by selecting Selecting a user to the left over here by highlighting it and clicking view for selected user, we can go ahead and view what this message is going to look like specifically for this individual user. And there's the message. You can see that, again, all of the placeholder variables have been replaced with actual data scraped from this person's profile. This message is good to go. If you purchase the professional version of Online Dating Genie, you would be able to use variable responses or advanced message templates and conditional templates as well. Those advanced features will be spoken about in a, another video, which goes into more detail. All right, so since this message looks okay, we'll go ahead and click out of this. And we've already marked out these messages for winking and for message, so we're good to go. We're gonna come down here to the execute function and wink and message is both set to on. And after we hit run, we'll just make this window a little bit bigger here. We can see that Online Dating Genie is now going to go ahead and message the uh, users that have been saved within the database with the message and the user's gonna be winked as well. That's about it for using Online Dating Genie. Thanks for watching.